our pain and all that that is gone it's up to us to put on the new garment and for him to use us to do his work so hello and welcome back to my channel uh, it's a beautiful day and it's Saturday in Manchester today is sunny we're going to church for uh, so there's a church games and stuff and um, yeah as usual we are literally late but yes we are going now we hope we have fun you know and uh, yeah we get to mingle with each other so just come along as we go stay tuned right so we just go here and uh, the moment they are having the open prayer I'm just here to show you guys what I prepared. So I prepared jollof rice with chicken and uh, I made some sponge cake as well and uh, eggs and sugar. So let me show you guys what I made. What was three? Still, you can't move. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. The first time I bring it, the three. What will you do? One! So what's up guys welcome back to your favorite spitties uh today's sunday and uh, we just closed from church literally i'm waiting for my husband i think they are having a meeting and you know as a wife as a helper i'll have to stay in the car and wait until they are done with their meeting yeah because he's part of the leadership so uh it's good to support him but at the same time you know you need to wait and be patient and uh yeah as i said today is sunday and i just wanted to share a word or two with you guys what i really uh enjoyed from the service today so uh during the sunday school i mean not the sunday school the little ones the adult uh section one thing one or two things that i picked was um and also the the word of god or the word of visitation for today was was taken from genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and also from ruth chapter 3 verses 3 and it all talked about moving to the next level so what that was the main topic for today however one or two things that i picked from today's word was spending time with god washing yourself in his word anointing yourself yourself by spending time with god in worship and in praise yes many a times we are we have the old garments on ourselves and and before we come to the lord i mean to the presence of god we still put on the old garments which is wrong we need to put on the new garments and the new garment is to, for us to avail ourselves for him to you know wash us and give give us a new clothing and that's uh giving us uh the clothing of righteousness i would say yes so this is just a small you know message that i have for you guys hang in there if you have any old garments on you don't worry god came to die for our sins he has already died and taken away all our pain and all the death it's gone it's up to us to put on the new garment and for him to use us to do his work so this is just a short message i wanted to you know share with you guys on the other hand today happens to be the actual day that um i wanted to sit down with mr ac bay which is my husband so if you're new here and uh today happens to be the first time you'll be on this channel um um is that it was a married couple channel however because of due to one or two and due to our circumstances i had to take over the channel and uh but I did say that my husband wouldn't be coming to the channel from time to time, but uh, yeah, he'll pass by and uh, he was supposed to pass by today. So uh, we're supposed to share with you guys two years of our marriage, what we've learned, the lessons we've learned and um, the ups and downs, the things that has happened, things that we could literally, I mean, share with you guys so you guys can pick a one or two things from it. And uh, Mr. Sibe is not here, as I said, he's busy and he's at the meeting. However, I want to share with you guys what I have learned 
this year which is our second you know year of marriage and one is communication yeah communication is key so you need to communicate with each other so communication is key that's one thing that i would like to share with you guys so in our first year obviously when you get married you are now you've now moved in coming from a different both different backgrounds and you are studying yourself even though you've already studied yourself before you've gotten into the marriage but once you are in you are now getting to know who, uh, what he likes, what he doesn't like, what she likes, what she doesn't like. is a whole bunch of things. You get what I mean? <laughs> it's a whole bunch of things that you guys are learning about each other. And there might be ups and downs. And listen, don't, don't let it worry you when little, little arguments come up and you guys are fighting here and there. They are there to strengthen you guys. You get what I mean? Sometimes uh, God tests us just to see how good or how our strengths can be with each other. So when it happens, don't just be sad. Don't just give up and just say that, oh, you're tired of the marriage. Never and ever and never in your life use the word, it's over. Or, uh i don't want to live with you again you are too you are worrying me today is this your mom is this your father is this today is this and so i'm leaving the marriage and you can leave and go go and live with your parents Do, never use those words because they are words that uh, one thing that i've learned is that words of affirmation really 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 takes an impact on our life so whatever you use you say with this tank it will come to pass, whether it's negative or it's positive. So you need to be mindful of the words that you use. Don't use words that, oh yeah, you are having an argument. Listen, if you think you can't, you, you are going to use words that you can't take it back. Just excuse yourself, go out, just go and, I mean, go about, go for a walk, listen to music, do something else that will let your temper calm down rather than arguing, saying this. Oh, yeah, he says you can go back to your parents' house and you are like, oh, yeah, you to, you to go to your parents' house. No, don't use those. Words. Don't say things that are going to, I mean, uh, trigger your marriage to, you know, fall apart. Yes. So always do things together. As I said earlier, communication is key. Learn to forgive each other. Put on the garment of forgiveness. When you read Zachariah chapter 3 verse 1 to 10, it tells you or it gives you an insight of the garment of forgiveness. Okay. And if you learn to forgive each other easily, trust me, your marriage is going to be fruitful and you will never have any issues or problems here and there. Yes, sometimes it's very difficult to forgive each other. When someone has wronged you, you know that this person has said something bad or he has said something that has really punched your heart deep 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 down where you don't want to forgive but because of the word of god because of i mean god i would advise you to just let go forgive easily live with each other love each other don't don't let the dating stop where else you guys were dating or courting before you got married i mean i know that you guys used to go out here and there don't let that thing stop continue it in the marriage because when you get married it's not that now that you're going to just oh well i don't know how people understand marriage it's not that you have to just stay home you eat you sleep you go to work and that's it you still have to continue to date yourself what i mean by that is going on if you used to go to on trips you need to do it more if you need to <laughs> if you used to go on trips you need to continue to do it if you used to i mean go out for work you, you need to continue it and that is going to continue to make your marriage fruitful and uh, yes i don't want to talk too much because i don't want this video to be that long but i'll just say that god bless you if you are single out there continue dating yourself when i what i mean by that is keep on i mean um uh, keep on uh, praying keep on drawing closer to god keep on understanding yourself because listen you, you might think that you know yourself too much but when you get married that's when you know that ah i didn't even know myself that much so keep on dating yourself yes learn to forgive freely before you enter into a relationship because if you can't do that it will be very difficult for you to forgive your spouse or your partner so keep on doing that as well and if you are married to learn to forgive as i said today's message or the entire video of today's uh the topic for the the topic for today is put on the garment of forgiveness so i hope you guys do that i hope it helped you i hope this video has inspired you and if this video has inspired you kindly like the video share the video with your family and friends subscribe to join your favorite petites and until next time in my next video yes yeah. i'll try my best to get miss daisy be on another video that's if i can yes but for today i'll say uh bye for now keep spreading love and keep spreading peace bye, bye. ciao